everybody. I just wanted to show you, I'm doing a little work on my 2001 Fleetwood Coleman pop-up camper that is the Santa Fe, affectionately named Fe. Right here, I have some muslin cut to about four inches and then a little strip here. Um, what we're doing is we are working on the roof where the ABS has been damaged by the sun by the previous owner had it out in the sun and I don't I keep it covered but I found a good product to fix the sun damage and now we're making sure a few of the larger cracks that someone tried to fix with fiberglass stay well covered with this new product okay be back in a second This is the product that we're using. It's by Lonco and it's the Ultra Silicone. And you can see here, here's where some of the cracks are or were. And they had been caulking them and that one there they put fiberglass on and made it very stiff so it didn't work with the ABS that was existing underneath. Um, what we've done is we've coated the roof following the instructions and you can see here um, we've just brushed it off because she got dusty being put away and the um, we rollered it on so it gave it a little texture um, in the two different directions that they tell you to do it over a 24 hour period it has worked great where the ABS was not damaged it really made it hold together um, we filled the channel in well here it's also under the um, the awning and now we're working here here's a piece where we put a piece of muslin which is a piece of cheap inexpensive fabric coated on both sides and this was a wide crack here and this has not opened up we and it's um, we're, we found one that opened up so we're going to go ahead and treat it like this again so you'll be able to see the rest of that and here's one here that I went ahead and fixed previously this is a channel that carries the water this is very important that this does not have any cracks in it okay as you can see the product is a robin's egg blue and I'm putting it on a piece of muslin which is cotton and I will coat both sides and then put it over a tiny little hole I found. <laughs> I didn't record. Okay, so here's where I put on a, over a small spot that there was a little opening. It was uh, looks like a tree limb came down and dinged the top. So I went ahead and took a little square, put product on both sides, pushed the air out, made sure it was well adhered. Um, you can see here we've put it on thick in some areas and then also under the awning we have applied it thick and made sure any crack under there was covered so this has been a great product this has been on over a year on this camper and this camper has been from Georgia to the south of Florida in rain heat and freezing weather and it has just been perfect everywhere and She's also driven over, what, 1,700 miles? So it's done a great job on a beautiful 2001 Fleetwood Coleman Santa Fe, who maybe isn't as pretty on the outside, but I got very lucky she's beautiful on the inside. And let me tell you, that air conditioner will, cook, will uh, freeze you any time of the year. Okay. This is the crack I'm going to work on here, or the original damage spot. You can see there's hairline cracks in here. And I've prepared my fabric. I have a little extra product. And I'm going to go ahead and place it on. As you can see, I've gone ahead and done a um, pre-treatment of the siliconizer. And now I'll just put on the fabric. Okay, I've applied the piece of fabric that was treated with the product on both sides and now I'm going to make it fit into every crack and crevice because I don't want this to bubble up and catch the wind because this fabric is going to get a little bit rubbery and it, then that could cause rips in the future. Okay, and there you can see I've coated it again and tried to get the edges all modeled in as best I could so that it really follows the contour of the original area. Now I'm going to cover this one here. Same thing, same problem. 
And there's the finished product here. We've got three strips on this side, and we did the one big one in the front, across the front to the other side. Never mind the lady behind the curtain. Oh. No. no, you're not in the picture. <laughs> and uh, here's the final product on this side. So those will dry. When the ultraviolet light hits them, they'll turn white. And we won't have to worry about them being uh, robin's egg blue. So those large crack areas are covered permanently now. And even though they weren't all damaged, we only had one that had a little crack, we just decided to go ahead and finish it. And as you can see, it cleans up nicely. You can see where part of the roof hasn't been washed off yet with a little water and vinegar. We were just trying to keep up with it. We don't know if the stains, possibly tree sap, could deteriorate the product on the roof. And you can see here where some extra work was done with a lot of caulk originally, all put underneath the ABS and then um, the caulking filled the hole and then it was covered with the Lonco um, siliconizer and it's really uh, done a great job and stood up well. And then I just need to neaten all of this up. But I also put it down in this edge here so that wouldn't catch any water also. So that's all been sealed. And uh, she's held up great. And now we're going to take the, uh, we're going to put her up for a little bit and take the filter out of the air conditioner and clean it because we have a trip coming up and we are definitely going to be using the air.